Sex discrimination is prohibited in the Elliott Larson Civil Rights Act and Equality Michigan back in uh, 2017 and 18 asked the Michigan Civil Rights Commission to interpret the definition of sex to include uh, sexual orientation, gender identity and expression. Uh, they agreed with us and they provided that interpretation. And I believe right now there are 50 some cases of discrimination that are actively being investigated by the Department of Civil Rights here in Michigan. That all being said, depending on where you live and who you work for, uh, there are far too many members of our community that don't have protections. So I like to tell folks, um, you know, my partner and I, uh, we live in downtown Kalamazoo. Uh, there are many municipalities in Kalamazoo County that provide a non-discrimination ordinance uh, that, you know, states we can't be fired, uh, kicked out of our housing or denied um, services at a, a local coffee shop. But there are also far too many communities just three, four miles from my house uh, that, you know, if Amy and I went to grab a cup of coffee, uh, they could ask us to leave simply because who we are. They could refuse to serve, uh, to serve us. Um, and so, you know, there are over 40 municipalities here in Michigan that provide some form of protection in the, in the way of a non-discrimination ordinance, but that patchwork system does not work. It leaves far too many people out. So again, if you work for a corporation that values uh, diversity, equity, inclusion, as a worker, you will pr be provided protections. And if you live in a community that also values diversity, equity, inclusion, you will have those protections. Uh, but there's a lot of spaces within the map of Michigan where those protections just don't exist. And that's why we need to codify it into law by modernizing the Elliott Larson Civil Rights Act.